Hello everyone, hope you are all doing good. So friends, today let's learn how to convert normal distribution to less than type and more than type. So here we have age of participants in a competition. Uh, here is the class interval column. These are the frequencies. So first let's learn how to convert to less than type. Now these are the class intervals. Are they exclusive or inclusive? Yes, they are exclusive because the upper limit of a class interval and the lower limit of the next class interval are one and the same there is no gap so in exclusive class intervals the upper limit is always excluded from that class interval so here if I have 0 to 5 it means ages starting from 0 but less than 5 so can we write here less than 5 yes again here we have 5 to 10 that means ages starting from 5 but less than 10 so we will write less than 10 over here so in this way just write less than and put the upper limit value it's very easy just see over here I hope you got this less than 25 and less than 30 so this column is ready now in the less than type and more than type we don't have frequency column instead we have the cumulative frequency now what is cumulative frequency yes it's called the added frequency so let's see how to find it out now the first class interval 0 to 5 has four participants now that means that four participants have ages less than 5 now is there any other participant with age less than 5 no only these four right there is no row before this so we can easily say that the cumulative frequency here is equal to the frequency value so we'll write four now in the second class interval 5 to 10 there are six participants now that means six participants have ages less than 10 so definitely they will be included in this group but what about these four participants they have ages less than 5 so automatically they will also have ages less than 10 so we also need Need to include these four so we need to add four to these six so we will get 10 so just remember that the current cumulative frequency is always equal to the current frequency value plus the previous CF value okay so just remember this type of uh, direction like this and then you get the value here okay now let's try for the next class interval 10 to 15 there are six participants so surely these six will belong in this group but I also need to add 10 to it so I'll get 10 plus 6 which is 16 so in this way 16 plus 4 is 20 20 plus 7 is 27 and 27 plus 3 is 30 friends so that's it now to verify if we are on the right track just find the total frequency value I think that comes to 30 yes so since the total frequency is equal to the last CF value it shows that we are on the right track now suppose we want to know how many participants were less than 15 years of age just say in one glance we'll come to know that yes 16 participants were less than 15 years of age now if it was this normal distribution it would have taken us more time so that's why this type of table is very useful now let's see the greater than type so here is the same data now for greater than type let's start with the last row because that is more logical now we have 25 to 30 now because this is exclusive class interval the lower limit value is always included in that class interval so here 25 to 30 means ages starting from 25 and less than 30 so we can surely say it is greater than or equal to 25 why equal to because the lower limit value is always included in that class interval okay friends now again see 20 to 25 means all ages starting from 20 so greater than or equal to 20 so you just need to write greater than or equal to and put the lower limit value so this way let's fill up the rows I hope you understood this so we have one column already now let's come to the CF part again we'll start with the last row 25 to 30 years there are three participants which means three participants have ages greater than or equal to 25 now are there any other participants whose age is greater than or equal to 25 no so now the CF value will be directly equal to the frequency value I hope you understood this now let's come to the next one 20 to 25 there are seven participants so seven participants have ages greater than or equal to 20 but what about these three participants their ages is greater than or equal 
equal to 25 so automatically their ages will be yes greater than or equal to 20 so we need to add these three participants also to 7 so 10 will be the participants greater than or equal to 20 so what is the current cf it is equal to the current frequency plus the previous cf value i hope you got this now again see here greater than or equal to 15 means yes definitely these four are there but i also need to add the 10 so it will go this way and it will go this way so i'll get 14 so this way 14 plus 6 is 20 uh, 26 and 30 and since i already calculated the total frequency was 30 and uh, it's matching with the last cf value so that means we are on the right track so suppose you want to know how many participants were aged greater than or equal to 20 years see in one glance i can say that yes 10 participants were aged greater than or equal to 20 years. so for practice do try out this question convert the given distribution to less than type and greater than or equal to type please let me know if you have any questions or doubts so if you found the video useful please like and share the video consider subscribing to enjoy math and please do leave your comments and suggestions in the comment section below so till we meet again take care